G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo here. Awesome to see you all again. Before you start a renovation or extension, one thing that you need to do is get a soil test. Soil test will help us distinguish the type of soil we've got and then the type of engineering required. Um, we've talked a bit about foundation work, etc., different types of soils, root barriers in other videos. If you haven't seen them, ch ch check them out. Um, Today what I've done is I've got a soil test on a property that we're just about to build a new home on and I'm going to show you what happened. Here we've got the hole that we've dug. You've gone down about 1.8 metres and it was cored down all the way down and they pulled out all of the soil and, but you can see here it is fairly consistent all the way and then down at the very bottom it's lightened right up and you can see here that it's turned to a quite a hard clay. This is even lighter. If we step over to this, you need we need to take we need to take samples on the property in a few different places. Um, that way we can see exactly what's going on. And here you can see it um, very moist, a bit of a moisty on this one, um, which means, and it's clay as well, which would mean probably a H1 or a H2, high reactive one, high reactive two. In this area during the summer, the cracks are massive, and in the winter they close right up, which means expansion contraction of soil, when it means the foundations of the house moving. So if we had a slab uh, that sat on the surface like a raft slab or what we call a waffle pod slab we'd have a lot of problems between the winter and the summer if we have beam work cut in a inbuilt slab um, that would be become part of the ground itself the beams will be probably i'm guessing uh 1400 to 1800 mil deep um might be a bit more might be a little bit less by about 400 wide um, Stumps, stumps will be probably 1800 deep. We wouldn't do stumps, we'd be doing pylons and then building everything off the pylons. So every single time we do a build, we do a soil test. This way we can establish the type of soil and establish the type of engineering required for anybody's home. Um, but the engineering is based on what type of soil we have, first and foremost, and then where it's situated, the house it's situated, and all of that kind of stuff. If you've got any other questions, oh, before I go, we have swamp areas, we have hard clay, we have sandy soil. There's different ratings of soil, just as there's different ratings of timbers. Um, so you might have a, a H1, a H2, which I mentioned before. Um, you might have an M, um, you might have a P, which is a problem site or problematic soil. So there's a number of different ones, M for moderate soil, there's a number of different ones. Um, so you need to make sure that you've got the right engineering for that job. Otherwise, it might split and crack and warp and bow. And a lot of houses nowadays in Australia are only built to last years, which is a bit of a sad fact. In the big scheme of things, we need to be building in Australia because we love this country and we love being able to build for the future generations. That's what we're all about. If you've got any questions or queries about different types of soils, foundation work or any of that kind of jazz flick it over i'll have a look and i'll answer it the best i can until next time stay on real banana peel and check you out later